double check that I'm still going to. Check one, two. Okay. It's going to be times I'm going to turn the mic on and off. It depends if anybody's in the chat. It don't do that on my laptop. So it's probably this controller. Mm -hmm. Let me do something real quick. Here the cat. You me, this one. I'm going to turn the mic off. Anybody jump to the chat? I'll say hey real quick.
Red was one of the toughest opponents I ever faced. No matter how hard I hit her, which was pretty hard, she never backed down. Sorry, it feels strange to stand up here and talk about her in the past tense. Don't get me wrong, I'm honored to do this, but I never thought it would happen so soon for Red or her best friend, Trey. Wherever Red went, Trey was there too. And tonight's no different. They truly are a package deal. They always had each other's backs, and that was certainly the case when I faced off against Red in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Right now, this is anyone's match as far as I'm concerned. I'm sticking with my pick of the rookie sensation, Red, to take home the briefcase. Red faced an uphill battle just to qualify for this match. You have to wonder, that will affect your chances here tonight. Of course it will. You need to be fully rested if you want to win a grueling match like this. And Red came into tonight running on fumes. Ronda Rousey connected with a good shot there. sure Charlotte should be showing up for competition like this. Oh! Oh, right to the spine with the knee. That was vicious. Ronda Rousey got out of there in time. Kick. Kick right to the leg. Oh, foot just stomping down. Oh, what a right. And some attitude behind it. Back in from the floor. Nothing fancy.
face to the briefcase between Red and Ronda Rousey. Hold on, the rest of their opponents are not ready for this match to be over. And Red and Ronda come crashing down. It's an absolute free for all to see who's going to get the money in the bank briefcase. Ronda and Red have recovered, and I think they might have other plans. Oh, no. This is total chaos. The window of opportunity is now wide open for Red and Ronda Rousey. That's striking. Red setting up for something big. Well, if Red thinks she can match Ronda Rousey with strikes, then she's insane. And now Ronda is punishing Red. Is it too late to change my pick? Wait a second, Red reverses. Zelina Vega has recovered and is setting up a ladder. She's using everything she has left to drag herself up each run. But will it be enough? That might not be. Red's going to try to beat Zelina to the top. Hold on, it's Andrade. What's he doing out here? Is he putting Zelina Vega on his shoulders? How is this legal? It's not only legal, it's smart. It's true. I think he's seen enough from Andrade. Trey has neutralized Andrade. But you might have been right about your prediction. She's going to do it. In her first attempt, Red is going to win the Money in the Bank ladder match. Wait, it's Ronda Rousey. This isn't over yet. Ronda's got Red's arm. Arm ball on the top of the ladder. She's got it locked in. Red's in big trouble. Man, that's going to be hard for her to grab a briefcase with a broken arm. Can she escaped before it's too late. Uh, this truly is a historic day. I don't think I've seen you dressed up since our senior prom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Our one and only date together because no one else would go with us. I remember showing up in that sweet, homemade, million-dollar man suit. Didn't you wear a cane mask? No wonder we couldn't get dates. To be fair, the theme of the prom was a masquerade. Eh, still weird. You have the list, right? No, I thought you had it. Seriously? I put it in the safe just like you told me to. Man, the way you treat that thing, you'd think it was the Magnet Carta. Did you say Magnet? Yeah, it's some really old, valuable Magnet, right? Just get it out of there. <laughs> no one was going to break into a hotel room and steal an old piece of notebook paper from high school. It's not just an old piece of paper. That list has been the roadmap to our entire careers, and now there's only one thing left to cross off. Did you forget the combination? It might have slipped my mind, but don't worry, I wrote it down on my phone. Which is also in the safe. This is why I always said we should have got the list tattooed on us. No chance of losing it and we'd have way more street cred. Yeah? Well, I'm gonna be getting a teardrop tattoo if you don't get that thing open.
This is what's going to give us confidence, recognition, success, everything we've ever wanted. Your Earth Science Notebook is going to do all that? No. We're going to use it to make a list of everything we'll accomplish someday when we become WWE superstars. We could do that. Or we could play my favorite lunchtime game, Guess What Mr. Bowman's Sweat Stains Look Like Today. I'm kind of seeing a heart shape. What do you think? I think you need to take this seriously. Besides, it's a proven fact that if you write down your goals, it helps you achieve them. Actually, now I'm thinking it looks more like a one-eared rabbit. Fine. I'll go first to get the ball rolling. Become WWE Divas Champion. Your turn. Okay. Star in a WWE action movie. Really? That's one of your goals? Do you want me to do the list or not? Besides, it's a proven fact. WWE action movies are some of the finest pieces of cinematic art ever produced, so it would be an honor to appear in one. Whatever. Train at the dungeon. Come up with awesome wrestling names. Team with Mickey James. Get my own action figure. Compete on NXT. Win a dance off. Wrestle Lita. Find out what's inside Undertaker's urn. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Be in a WWE video game. Win a ladder match. I've got a match for you. My butt, your face. What are you two fartwads doing? This table is reserved for wrestling team members only. I thought there was a lot of boogers stuck underneath it. <laughs> Bunny, you can leave now. Sorry, we're busy. Get my own action figure, become WWE Divas Champion. Is this some kind of WWE nerd vision board? Hey! Being immortalized in semi-posable plastic is the greatest thing a human being can achieve. Don't ever touch our stuff again. What, like this? <laughs> That was a huge mistake. Uh -oh. I swear, I hate bullies. She deserved to get shoved on the floor. She get. This reminds me of that movie with the spinning top. Everything's confusing and a little bit off. For example, I wasn't even a WWE commentator when Red was in high school. Well, you're barely a WWE commentator now. None of this makes sense. Just sit back and enjoy the ride, Saxton. a terrible human being who deserves everything she's getting here tonight. I could not agree more, Michael. I couldn't believe what Brooklyn did to their list. I mean, what did she expect was going to happen after that? Yeah, if you ask me, a Brooklyn's the real fart wad. This reminds me of the time I stood up to my bully in high school after years of being picked on.
Shows up. Brooklyn started it, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Totally. Brooklyn did to their list. I mean, what did she expect was going to happen after that? Yeah, if you ask me, a Brooklyn's the real f***ing lie. This reminds me of the time I stood up to my bully in high school after years of being picked on. Weren't you homeschooled? Uh, yeah, but my sister was pretty tough back then. Here, I think we can all agree that Red rules and Brooklyn drools, right? <laughs> Without a doubt. It's pretty clear at this point that Red is the far superior athlete. I thought that was the case coming into this match, and it's only being confirmed. Whoa! 
This is just a preview of what Red's going to do when she goes on to become one of the greatest WWE superstars of all time. How do you know that's going to happen? Because Red from the future is having a crazy flashback to this fight she had in high school, and she's controlling her thoughts. Come on, Byron, try to keep up. Um, since this is just an imaginary match inside someone's head, I don't think we have to worry about that, Byron. For one, can't wait to see Red put Brooklyn in her place. Oh, so much for unbiased commentary. Hey, this is Red's memory of how it went down, so of course I'm pulling for her. You are too. Oh, yeah. I am. Go Red. This reminds me of the movie with the spinning top. Everything's confusing and a little bit off. For example, I wasn't even a WWE commentator when Red was in high school. Well, you're barely a WWE commentator now. None of this makes sense. Just sit back and enjoy the ride, Saxton. Deserves everything she's getting here tonight. I could not agree more, Michael. Shows up. Brooklyn started it, right? Oh, yeah. Brooklyn might have an opening here. Brooklyn gets nailed with these sliding works trade takedown. Can Red capitalize? She's going up top. Red with the picture perfect. Red cemented her 
himself as way tougher and cooler than Brooklyn will ever be. That's exactly what happens when you make fun of Red. You pay dearly. I'm still kind of confused about everything that just happened, guys. Well, don't hurt your imaginary head, Byron. Wait, 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 let me get this straight. You remember your fight with Brooklyn when we were in high school taking place in a WWE arena with a ring sold out crowd and commentators? The guy who can't remember the safe combination is questioning my memory? No, the guy who can't remember the safe combination is questioning your sanity. Whatever. You may have taken a few liberties with my story, but that is how I choose to remember it. Well, as much as I'd love to join you in rewriting history, that day is scorched into my brain because that's how I got my nickname, Trey. This is how it really went down. Get my own action figure, become WWE Divas Champion? Is this some kind of WWE nerd vision board? Hey, being immortalized in semi-posable plastic is the greatest thing a human being can achieve. Don't ever touch our stuff again. What, like this? <gasps> that was a huge mistake. Oh no, I've unleashed Hothead Red! I'm gonna take that marker, bring it to your grandmother's nursing home and cross out parts of her chart so when the nurse goes to give her turndown service, she won't know to flip her over. That's right, I'm gonna give your grandmother bed sores. What is wrong with you? Calm down, deep breaths, maybe we can talk this out. I'm done talking. <laughs> this is what happens when you mess with the captain of the wrestling team. What are you gonna do? Hit me with a steel chair? Put me through a table. I'm going to get help. <laughs> Everyone already knows Hothead Red, but let me introduce you to her best friend, Trey. Get it? Because he busted his butt on a lunch tray. Trey, 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 Trey. Now her face matches her nickname. That could have been way worse. Yeah, Brooklyn could have posted a video of the whole thing online. Oh wait, that's exactly what she did. I meant she could have dumped something worse on me, like mayo or hot sauce. And hey, at least she didn't destroy our list. So what? I'm not gonna do any of those things anyway. What do you mean? We were just embarrassed in front of the entire school and currently 672 people on the internet. I bet a bunch of those are repeat views. Great. We're not even touching on the fact that I got beat up by a lunch tray. I'm never going to be a WWE superstar. I'll just go to college and get a lame job like my parents want me to. <sighs> I think you need to read the letter again. 
See? This is what I'm talking about. I can't even open my locker. What's your combination? 16339, I think. Letter, please. Here we go. I think this section is relevant right now. You've probably asked yourself a million times, why? Why didn't they want to be my parents? The truth is we did, but we had to make the hardest decision of our lives because we didn't feel we could give you the life you deserved. And that life is one where you can have the freedom to follow your dreams no matter what they might be, to become anything you want. Using the only letter I have from my real parents as some sort of motivational speech is kind of a cheap move. They're right though. You got a second chance in life and you need to make the most of it. So why sell yourself short? You need to at least try. Fine, but when this whole WWE thing doesn't work out, I'm blaming you. It'll work out, I promise. Assuming you never have to wrestle a lunch tray. They're actually a lot tougher than they look. Okay, so maybe my memory of that day is a little off. Severe emotional trauma will do that. <laughs> but did I really say all that stuff about her grandmother? Yep. You had some serious rage issues back then. Did you also forget that's how you got your nickname because you were always seeing red? No, I remember. And then Brooklyn tacked on the hot head part. <laughs> Gotta give her credit for that. You know, the rhyming definitely made it catchier. Hot head red, hot head red, hot head red. Okay, okay, we get it. Have you figured out that's safe yet? <sighs> no, but I'm pretty sure I use the same combination I've always used for everything, which is... Got it. Finally. Was never in doubt. I'm sorry you were locked in there all alone for so long. Mommy won't ever let that happen again. There's something seriously wrong with you. You're just jealous. We should get going, we can't be late. Hey, we got a message from President Johnson. Do you think you impressed the most electrifying president in United States history with all your career achievements? Actually, you do. All the best on your big day. I'll be watching from the People's White House. That's cool. <laughs> but I, I voted for Kane. I just wanted to congratulate you, Red. You really deserve this. Thanks, Natty. 
I know we had some differences over the years, but we always worked them out in the ring. Yeah, except that one time we got into it backstage. <laughs> I forgot about that. I didn't. You threw me into a road case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What were we even fighting about? The usual stuff. Who was better, the title, you saying you were the best female superstar to ever come out of Calgary. We all said some crazy stuff over the years, but no need to go into it right now. Thanks again for the kind words, Natty. I still can't believe it's really all over for you and Red. I know. It is starting to sink in, though. Just this morning, I was thinking about that time we faced each other in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Man, that was brutal. Yeah. But thanks to you in that match, now every time my jaw hurts, I know it's going to rain. Really? Maybe you should get that checked out. No way. You might be the champ who runs the camp, but I'm the champ who knows when it's damp. Yeah, that doesn't quite have the same ring to it. I'd love to reminisce some more, but I should get going since my jaw barometer's telling me it's about to sprinkle. Good seeing you, AJ.
Hey, it's X-Pac. Just keep walking, we don't have time. We always have time for X-Pac. Besides, you can't just ignore a WWE Hall of Famer. I can. Trey. Pac, what's going on? Hey guys, looking good. You too. Thanks, I'm on this new mustard only diet. As in mustard is the only condiment you use? No, as in I only eat mustard. I've already dropped like seven pounds. That's interesting. But enough about me. This is your big night. I swear it was just like yesterday when I first saw you two on the indie scene. Yeah, at that point we were only a couple years in. And I was about 30 years in. But I could still go today if I had to. I'm telling you, this diet's legit. I guess you could say you can cut the mustard, huh? Anyway, we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you. So, thanks. I'm sure you'd have been fine with it without my help. Trey, I don't think I can say the same for you. You were kind of the drizzling craps back then, no offense. No, it's true. And I wasn't just a drizzle. I was more like a torrential downpour of crap. Red was always ahead of me from the moment we started training. You said you don't want to eat your mustard. I know, right? Who put that to mustard? Sure. You can use this credit card for whatever you need, but we keep the reward points. I'm about 10,000 short of a free trip to someplace warm, and you're gonna help me get there. Deal? Got it. We are gonna miss no. you so much. When did you get there? I just had to be close to you one more time. It, it feels like yesterday we got that call, there was a boy in Denver who was ready to be adopted, and now you're all grown up and going off to college. I, I, I just can't believe it. <laughs> I know. Hard for me to believe, too. We'll come visit soon, okay? No, don't. I mean, a, a big part of college is learning independence, and if you're visiting all the time, then I'll never be able to do that. Just be smart about the credit card, okay? Like, if there's a big keg party, put it all on the card and have everyone pay you back in cash. That way, I'll be headed for that free beach trip in no time. Hey, maybe we could go on spring break together. Frank? I have to go. Okay, drive safe. This is the part where you get out of the car. <laughs> right. Call us when you get to school. We love you, Denver. Do you believe this? We're finally doing it. Our very first list item. Train at the dungeon. Are you excited as I am? I don't think that's possible considering you've already had three energy drinks before we've even left town. <laughs> but this is gonna be cool. I know. Think about how many top superstars came through Calgary. The Hearts, Edge, Jake the Snake Roberts, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and we're next. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have a long way to go before we can be mentioned in the same sentence as those legends. Everyone has to start somewhere though, right? And the dungeon is a great place to start. I still can't believe your parents were okay with all this. What happened to them wanting you to go to college? They changed their minds. Just like that? Just like that. Huh. Well, that's good. Hey, pull over real quick. Bathroom break already? No, I want to show you something. See that sign? Our faces are going to be on it someday. You really think we can become more famous than the inventor of the paper toilet seat cover? He put a lot of butts in seats. And when we make it to WWE, so will we.
This is it. The home of the famous dungeon. I swear, I can almost hear the wrestlers of the past groaning in pain. <laughs> That's my stomach. For the past two days, I've had nothing but moose jerky, maple puffs, and poutine. Yikes. Look, I just want to say, I know I've been a little skeptical, but now that we're here, I can see us doing this. I mean, once Bret Hart hears how far we drove, he's going to have no choice but to welcome us right in for training. So, thanks for pushing me on this. Of course. Well, here we go. <laughs> hey there. I bet you're here for Bret Hart, eh? Uh, hello. Uh, and yes, he's going to train us to be wrestlers. Eh? I'm not sure I'm using that correctly. Is Brett home right now? He is! Hang on a sec. Brett! Two lovely people are here for wrestling training! He'll be right down. I'm sure he's just putting his tights on, gelling up his hair, finding his sunglasses. He's gotta look the part, you know. Of course. So are you Brett's... housekeeper? Okay, seriously, guys? I'm messing with you. So Brett's not home? No. And he hasn't been for years! The hearts don't live here anymore. But you said... This kind of thing happens, like, once a month. And I like to have a little fun when I break the news. How is that fun? We just spent three days driving here. And I gave myself severe stomach issues. At this point, we'd settle for one of the more obscure Hart brothers or even a distant cousin. Like I said, none of them are here. You seem like nice kids. Stupid, but nice. Next time, do some research before you decide to drive all the way up here. Jeez. So much for Canadian hospitality. I thought you said you checked all this out online. I did. I mean, I searched for dungeon and wrestling, and then some really weird stuff came up, and I kind of got sidetracked. Point being, don't look at my browser history. But hey, we came all the way here. We should at least get a picture. Eh, can we do another one? I was making a weird face. Probably on account of the stomach pain. Maybe you were right about us trying to become wrestlers. We've already failed at the first thing on our list. And maybe we're not cut out for this. Hey, wait, we can't just give up that easily. I have an idea! So you drove all the way to Calgary thinking you were going to train with Bret Hart? I've done some stupid stuff in my life, but that takes the cake. <laughs> it wasn't our finest moment. <laughs> but since I had a dad who only looked at the rewards section on the credit card bill, we were able to stay in Calgary and learn from a former wrestler who, at least according to him, trained with the Hearts back in the day. I think he just ran next to one on a treadmill once. So that's how you guys hooked up with Riley Flash. Yeah. After striking out at the dungeon, it was kind of our only option. Even though Riley can be a bit much sometimes, he gave us the foundation we needed to get here today. He also gave us ringworm with his dirty mats, but that's a whole other story. Mm.
I'm gonna do this one more time and I want in it. I'm gonna end the stream. But I'll be back for GTA.
to end this stream. Thank you for watching. And see you next time. Bye.